Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to round number 10. We are officially 100,000, 100,000 five-star shards into our hunt for Stark Spidey, and the first eight rounds could not have been more of a depiction of what the average person gets in this game, mostly trash, but somehow we were graced with the presence of our first god-tier champ in round number nine, and that was Dr. Voodoo. So I'm not expecting back-to-back god-tier champs, although it would be amazing if we got them, especially if he was Stark Spidey. Uh, and as a reminder, why are we going specifically for Stark Spidey besides the obvious blade synergy? I have a tech awakening gem, and I have a tech rank three to rank four item, and that's the only class that I have for those items. Anything else, even if I get my second favorite uh, target ghost rider, I will not be able to take up because I have only half of the needed tier two alphas. So we're going to uh, hope that through the uh, recent complaints, this five-star hero crystal is not bugged with the infinite spinning out, and we're just going to see what we get. So here's to round number 10, our 90 through 100th crystal shards. And I would just be so happy to get either a new champion even if it's somebody like a Colossus, because somehow I still haven't gotten that meme champion, or if it's somebody, uh, obviously, in a demigod or god tier-like state. So we're going to let this... I, I kind of like for it to naturally spin out if possible, but we're going to wait a few more seconds, and uh, you know what? It's still spinning. So let's just tap this and see what comes up. Oh, Green Goblin and Medusa are amazing. Crossbones, Ronin magic. Medusa, beast. Oh! <gasps> Hyperion, back-to-back -back god tier champs. Wow. Did someone did someone lace my account with luck? Is it St. Patrick's Day still and I just didn't know it? Wow. I was really hoping to get Hyperion in my 23 five-star crystal opening and I got shafted big time and at least as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but he can still be very effective unawakened, whereas Dr. Voodoo definitely loses most of his uh, signature ability and value without being awakened. But, but wow, Dr. Voodoo and Hyperion back to back. I might have got a promotion from Kabam Janitor to at least the Kabam intern that brings the donuts and coffee on the weekend. That's a really long title, though. I wouldn't put an acronym to that. Wow, I uh, I don't know what's going on. Part of me feels like this can't be my account. This has to be some kind of dream, but I don't think it is. And Hyperion also is great for prestige, just as Doctor Voodoo is as well. So overall, I um I'm usually the the account that helps people feel better about their luck. Now I, I don't want to be from you know the the hero to the villain, but back to back God tier champs is truly amazing, and it's a new champion. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks as always for supporting my channel. This may not have been Stark Spidey, but I could not be happier with this opening. And um, until next time, YouTube, just know that uh, sometimes it, it pays. I actually spent 1,200 units on the first tier of that offer yesterday, which is the only reason why I was able to form 10,000 crystals. And it ended up giving me a Hyperion. So if you got an Ant-Man, you probably want to you know, burn the game to the ground. But in this case, I am not in that horrible depressive position until next time for round 11 let's go